Hey, it's Janet Vosky. Today I want to talk about why I have republished two of my previous poetry books. I have published Bones in 2019 and X in 2020. I wanted to talk about my experience with why I republished to help you if you're looking to self-publish, but also if you are specifically from my Instagram, just to understand the differences between the two different editions of each of my books. Before I talk about that, I will give a little bit more context in terms of the content of each of my books because that held a lot of weight when it came to actually deciding for me what kind of size and style that I wanted for each book. So for Bones, which was my very first poetry book, I knew I wanted something delicate. I knew I wanted something small simply because of the content. So this book details very personal experience of a relationship and my heartbreak through the loss of the end of that relationship. Because this whole book is essentially about my experience through the different stages of grief, again, I wanted it to be something as delicate as the emotions that I was experiencing through that period. That's the reason why I wanted it to be paperback. That's another reason why I wanted it to be so small. With my second book, X, I knew I wanted it to be different from Bones because the content was so different. X to me is about liberation, um, finding yourself, coming of age almost, really coming into the person that you, the person you wanted to be when you were much younger and that realization as well. Similarly to Bones, X does also talk about relationships I've experienced and dealing with the loss of that, but I think it's also very different because I'm a much stronger person and the writing is also very different in this book. There is a whole chapter just dedicated to my family where I recognize a lot of my strengths and amazing <laughs> amazing uh, attributes, um, traits, whatever they may be, actually stem from my experiences and relationship with each of them. So because this book is to me about the independence and strength that you find within yourself over time and really coming into the person that you wanted to be when you were younger and you, you looked up to that kind of person, I knew I wanted it to be sturdy. I knew I wanted it to be strong because that's the mentality that I had and that's kind of like the content that is in the poems in the book. Now, if we go back to understanding why I republished both of my previous poetry books, it's because of my upcoming book, Neon Sun, which will be released in February, 2022. I knew I wanted the third book to be paperback. I knew the size I wanted it to be. And again, it was also due to its content. It's about love, um, the expression of love, the way I view it. When I did have Neon Sun in my hands, I'll just show you. <laughs> when I did have Neon Sun in my hands, the books were just so different and there's nothing wrong with that. But for me personally, when I buy from the same author, I like having a set. I want them all to be the exact same size. I want it to be like fit perfectly on my bookshelf kind of thing. So being mindful of that, I kind of thought to myself, well, if I like that from other authors, I want to do that for my own books, just so I can have my own set. <laughs> also with that thought, I thought to myself, if I feel this way, I am so certain other people would too. So that was the main reason behind why I decided to republish my previous book. I'll quickly show you my first edition books, including my third book, Neon Sun. And I'll also show you my reprinted and republished versions, just to give you an idea of differences and see for yourself if it's something you'd be interested in considering if you are self-publishing. So this is my very first set. So there's Bones, the first one, X is in the middle and Neon Sun is on the right hand side. And now this is the second edition. Bones again. X, Neon Sun. Republishing my work also gave me an opportunity to reread and revisit my work with a completely different perspective. And because X was written quite recently and published in 2020, I didn't really change much to that. So the only major differences with that is the cover itself. It's a little bit more zoomed out. You can see the little moon <laughs> in the cover and no real not a lot of amendments to the interior or the content. With Bones, because it was originally written, I think, in 2015 or 16 and finally published in 2019, as you can imagine, I'm a completely different person. You don't actually realize how much you can change in even 
six months or a year so to see something that I had originally written that long ago and recognizing like who I am as a person now was really interesting to me so I wanted to actually change a lot of the interior of Bones. In addition to that with Bones, rereading it gave me the realization that my work and my writing has changed drastically. So when I revisited Bones, I actually changed a lot of the interior. So I deleted some poems, I edited some poems, I made them shorter. I also, in some of the places of the poems that I had removed, wrote new ones. I think there are about four new ones in Bones. I also wrote an epilogue, which gives the perspective of the person I am now viewing who I was through that experience. Kind of like detailing what I wish I knew and how I could expedite my healing process in that epilogue. In saying that, the new edition of Bones remains authentic to the meaning and the content that I had originally envisioned and published in the first version of Bones. I didn't change my voice or the emotions, I just enhanced it. Through the whole process of republishing my work, I recognize there are about four tips for people who are self-publishing. These tips are simply what I learned through the experience of republishing my work. The first tip would be to consider future books. Consider what you want for your existing book, the book you're doing now, but also consider whether you will be publishing future books and if you want to do what I did and keep them all the same size, but the first time you publish them. <laughs> Also make sure that the size of your book is suitable. What I mean by that I might detail in the next tip, which is to consider white space. Something that I had to consider for my third book, Neon Sun, because there are illustrations in it, is white space. And just making sure that there is enough room on each page to allow for an illustration, if you are doing illustrations, or just so the book doesn't look too clunky, too um, squished together, or even sometimes if a poem has just one line or two lines on the next page, it can look a bit weird or, in my opinion, ruin the flow when you're reading the poem. So just spreading that out would be a lot more effective. Otherwise, that's why I say consider a different size for your book. For this experience of revisiting my old work, my tip number three is to revisit old work. I think it's so interesting to see a completely different perspective of something you have written but don't change your voice too much. Make sure it remains as authentic as possible, regardless of whether your emotions have changed later. <laughs> I say this because I learned a lot from revisiting my work, specifically Bones. Recognize that I, I've improved as a writer and also found my voice. I think revisiting old work can also spark more thought to your own work. When I revisited my old work, I, it made me have even more perspective than I thought I would going into it. What I mean by that is I learned a lot more about myself. I saw things that I didn't see before when I had even published it, after I had finished everything. Recognizing that for me as a person with who I am now is very important to me. So if that's something that's also important to you, I would highly recommend revisiting old work, even to read it, because you would be surprised with how many things you pick up whether it's a different perspective or just something you haven't thought about before which could spark another idea for a future book or future poem. My last tip would be to publish different versions. So if you are buying your own ISBNs, ensure you have enough to do this, but you could also simply publish a hardback and a paperback in the same size or whichever size you do intend to publish your book with at the same time. So you don't have to do what I did and just do one at each time. You can do as many as you want. I think that's it. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But as always, thank you so much for watching. So if you are self-publishing, <laughs> if you, <laughs> why am I laughing? <laughs> it's not even funny, this. <laughs>